Holy crap, Lois, I haven't felt a tension like this since that time in Selino Yarsk. It's Metal Gear Acid. And now, we're returning to the Ruins Lower. Because we've got the C4, which we're going to use on the Smooth Wall. Even though the wall has been repaired, it could take a good four weeks for the cement to fully harden. Well, we were just playing with our decks and, you know, if anything's gonna fully hard... Oh, anyway. The area repaired is still pliable enough for a little C4 to make its mark. C4 can be detonated by shooting as well as with a detonator or timer. Got it? C4 actually cannot, in real life, be detonated by shooting it. Um, it is a very stable compound that can only be detonated with a proper detonator. Right. But of course, video game contrivance. Hey, remember this stage? I do. We're gonna equip that. And you know what? We're gonna equip that too, just in case things go south. Oops. Oh yeah, I guess I can't, uh... Easily go from box to crawling. So I sort of wasted that card, if my understanding is correct. But, you know, that's fine. Hey, that's fine. We'll just equip front of aid over it. I, I can't, I can't, I can't actually see where I am. There we go! Wasting a whole turn just taking a box off and crouching down. That's the Metal Gear Acid way. No, no, no. Let's... There we go. I, I can't flatten from here. Um... There we go, now I can flatten. Look at that. It's like I actually know how to play the video game. That's how we do acid, laying on the floor in a dark, damp crevice, fearing for our lives. Yeah, that that's correct. no target so i have to i have to move a little bit and then destroy this damn camera i do love the dramatic shots when snake fires When ingested, C4 results in serious CNS effects such as generalized seizures in addition to renal and GI symptoms. Based on previous reports, the toxic presentation is transient and treatment is supportive. Critical actions include airway maintenance, seizure control, and fluid resuscitation. I've never seen that word before. Don't do this. Don't eat C4. Yeah, it says uh, do not eat right on the package. And the reason it says that is actually because it has a very similar 
texture to a, a Japanese dessert, from what I understand. Okay. Oh no. Now, how, how much did he see me? Okay. He saw me a little bit. He didn't see me all the way. Go back in that crevice. It's a big block of high chew. Yep, the forbidden high chew. You've heard of fruit gushers. Oh, you're not ready. You're not ready for the the gush that's going to happen here. So how do I detonate? How does one detonate this C4? The detonator might be a separate card, huh? Well, that's hysterical. It's realistic. But it's also kind of dumb. Just gotta shoot it for now. Okay. I hope I'm far enough away from it also. Though I might not be. I mean, I can't be much further from it though because I wouldn't be able to... Whoops. Wouldn't be able to shoot it from any further back. I would... I mean, I... I was gonna say, I don't think I can use that. Uh... And it's not gonna shuffle my deck until I... This is a little silly. Okay, that looks like it's still within my, my range in that case. Well, I, so I have to wait until my, my gun gets reshuffled uh, back into my hand, I guess. And there we go. Use it on the C4 in front of the smooth wall. Yep. And of course it causes an alert, but that's fine. We'll just, we'll just wait it out. Hopefully no one will see us. There's a, a stinger right there. That's quite cool. Nope, just gonna wait it out. Just gonna lame it out. I can discard from the menu. Can I? Oh, look at that. You know, maybe if I had read... That's extremely useful, actually. I should... I should... Hopefully I'll remember that. Oh, I, I, I did stay. I wanted to stand. I wanted to stand and punch him. Oh, okay. Or we're taking the time to talk to Roger. Okay, well, it worked. I managed to blast through the wall. Well done, Snake. Just like a pro. 
Okay, time to put the clock back? Right. Head for the residential quarters, mission change as we look at this texture. I mean... Yeah, you just... That didn't do much to him. And I, I believe I can only, uh... Only punch once, so... A look at that! But we're all buffed up! He can't hit us with his... Low-resolution... AKS 7-4-U. Straight out of Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. Although this guy can. Ah, <laughs> trickster. Oh, and we like, uh... We, we face the direction that an enemy hits us in. That's very interesting. Hell yeah! Stinger MGS2! Roger's next gaslighting operation, convincing you anyone, actually says, time to put the clock back in any context other than daylight savings. Yeah, I've, I've never heard that phrase before. I don't think that's a real thing. You know, these grenades are not great. I'm just gonna say it. Oh no! Well, that's very bad for me. I can't even see what's happening. Something exploded. I don't know what. I know I'm surrounded by all of the dudes. I I'm about to die again. Oh my god. Maybe, maybe my healing items will keep me alive. Somehow I doubt it, but we'll see. I don't care for you, robot. I, I just want you to know. I'm not a fan of you. That will never not be hilarious to me. Oh no! Oh no. Now, of course, I'm well acqu acquainted with how you want to avoid combat 
in, in a Metal Gear scenario, even though I'm not particularly good at it in, in this scenario. But it is funny, again, that people have described this as a card battle game, where it really is an, a card anti-battle game. You, you don't want to battle. You don't want to use your cards to battle. Not even a little. Though it is, you know, working okay for me. <laughs> A card peacemaking game. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> it is really funny just thinking of Snake just standing there and getting riddled with bullets. I'm gonna throw it a little behind him. Hope that does something for me. And we're gonna equip some body armor. And hope that does something for me. No, no, he ran! A way I didn't want him to. A card skedaddle game, that's correct. It's true. You kinda do just want to skedaddle out of there. Grenades are completely useless. I'm I'm starting to feel as though Oh no, and he uses one on me. How much you wanna bet his will be really good? Oh no. Oh no, we can- we can simply... Uh, we can simply choose to just hoof it on out of there. That's quite nice. No, no, come on! Now will this let us simply leave? It will! Look at that! Mission complete! Can you believe it? First try! I actually beat the mission, and I did it in the absolute D-rank spirit by just getting in there, making a lot of noise, killing some guys, and then just leaving right when and where they can see me. Perfect. Metal Gear, everyone. We got the Stinger, though, which is very cool. I mean, the Stinger does tend to be a very powerful weapon, especially against living things. No, actually, according to this, it locks onto machines only. So, I'm sure that'll come up more in, in future stages. Perhaps I could use it against uh, gun cameras and the little drone enemies, but we'll see. I had to get it, though. I mean, come on, it's, it's, it's the Stinger. Come in, Snake. This is Roger. What is it? New info has come in from the headquarters. The headquarters? Just at headquarters. I don't know what's with me there. Investigators have confirmed that Pythagoras is the name of a research project being conducted at Lobito Physics and Chemistry Laboratory. Our mission is to find out more about this Pythagoras. Research? and Fleming, the man behind it. Another fact has been confirmed regarding Fleming's research. He was conducting drug-related tests and production in his lab. Combat enhancers? No, something much more vile. He calls it the T. Veronica virus. No. Candidates from various countries were sought and used for clinical testing. The candidates signed an agreement, basically an acknowledgement of the life-threatening dangers involved in the testing they were to take part in. Perhaps a large sum of money is what persuaded them to endure such horrors. Life-threatening dangers? All sorts of viruses were shot into the test subjects in order to monitor the effects of a new drug. I get it. He must have chosen this remote island as a way to cover up what he was researching. Yes, they call it Rockford Island. 
and there's the the military training facility and eventually we're going to take a plane to to Antarctica somehow and we're going to fight a Nosferatu no there's a beagle right beagle is the name of a company not a dog Ahem. what about beagle the sponsors of this lab what the hell is it what's going on in here ellipses <sighs> let's focus on the mission at hand for now get a hold of Fleming and things should become clear you should head for the residential quarters now I'll continue probing for details on Fleming's whereabouts right ellipses right seems to be snake's catchphrase in this particular game oh this remember this going on uh presidential candidate santa claus and the the killer doll twins in the airplane with the ransom you remember that looks like she woke up who the kid in back yeah i noticed her in the artwork i was wondering what was up with that hi there what's your name I'm, uh, I mean, it says Minette right there. Yes. I'm, eh, mm, my name's Minette. Minette. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Minette. Uh-huh. Minette Donnell. Donnell? I don't think it's Donnell. Unless, unless you kind of rearrange and flip the letters and it's McDonnell Miller. No. No, I, I believe it's Minette Donnell. You all by yourself? Well, I'm going to see my... I'm not going to say that word because I don't want people to have a clip of my voice saying that word, so... She's looking for her father. Where's your mom? Well, mother really hates father now. You're not getting me to say the... Uh-uh, no. I'm not going to say the line. Oh, I see. Aren't you scared to ride on a plane all by yourself? No, nope, I'm used to it. You're pretty brave, kiddo. I'm used to riding on planes too. Get out of here, Vigo. This isn't about you. But this is a first for me. Mr. Hatch. I didn't mean to startle you. It's just that they keep pumping these damn drugs into me. My body and mind are both going nutso! Why did- <laughs> some of this dialogue is pretty funny. Ah, uh, here they are. Ah! Ellipses. It's awful. Something awful has happened. Help, sis. I'm scared. What should I do? Now, I don't want to, like, um... These dolls seem to have French names. That girl seems to have a French name. There's the Leone unit. There's a lot of French names being thrown around. I'm just saying, I, I see you, video game. I see what you're doing. Either they really like the French language, or or they're they're trying to to lay some 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 breadcrumbs here that I may or may not be picking up on. But anyway, help, sis. I'm scared. What should I do? Ellipses. The, the stewardess lady in the back, she she's all bloody. She was killed. There's a bloodthirsty killer on this plane, sis. You killed her, huh? How come you found out so easy? That's no fun. Uh, these two are hilarious. Did you do as I said? Yeah, I carved the leaven on her forehead with the knife. Oh, man. Creepy. Just like you told me to. Hmm. Am I a good girl? Uh-huh, you're a real good girl. This game's pretty creepy. <laughs> it's me. No, it's no use. Both Lena and I can only move our fingertips. Even putting on... These, oh, sorry. Even putting these earphones on was like pulling teeth. It's those damn drugs. They've paralyzed us. But I told you, I can't move a muscle. Even if I could, 
You think I'd really give a damn about the other passengers? What? what A bomb? So, Emilio is already on the move, is he? Ask Emilio how things are going at the lab. Never mind that now. What about the bomb? But... If you know what... Perhaps Pythagoras... Falls into the wrong hands. Everything could go public, and... I know, I know, damn it. Why did this have to happen? We can't let that monster live now, can we? Huh? Who the hell is that? Solid Snake? Solid who? That's a... That's an all-time... Yeah, that is... That is the response to hearing that name out of context. Like, what? Oh. Ah, I see. So that's also a viable option. But can we really trust Emilio to that extent? I heard he's been saying and doing some pretty disturbing things lately, going against the agreement made between him and the organization. What's that? You've got a clairvoyant in there! All right, then. Help us. Only one of us can move. She's a child. All right. Connect me to him. Mmm, nefarious dealings. Yet, Spike has no problem saying you're a real good girl. Listen, listen, that phrase has not been explicitly ruined for me by the internet yet. Yet. Although I feel like... Anyway, that guy over there thinks he can solve everything. He's deluding himself. Deluding himself? What does that mean? Is it more fun than killing people? You know, I do appreciate a game with dialogue portraits and text boxes, but I kind of wish these two had, like... The dialogue for these two really needs someone, like, hamming it up for the voices, because it, it's pretty good. They're, they're pretty fun. Elsie, sometimes you can be so... Well, there's nothing to do in here. No killing for a little while, okay? Boring! I want to go home. Yeah, like, they're, they're fun. I'm, I'm liking the... I don't know what the hell's up, but they're pretty funny. I'm Alice Hazel. Um, I'm Minette. Look at, look at all these cute girls with big foreheads. Minette Donnell. Minette, I have a favor to ask you. I don't feel good. But you can move, right? Don't be selfish now. The fate of all on board rests in your hands. And you're their only hope. Ellipses. Listen, okay? Now, there's a bomb somewhere on the plane. If you can find it, then everyone might be saved. Really? Really. It's a race against time. Look around and do exactly as I say, okay? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you listening to me? I said yes, okay? Ugh, this is why I can't handle kids. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm liking the cast of this game. Everyone's just <laughs> absolute weirdo in the best ways. Okay then, guess I don't have a choice. I was gonna save this for later, but since you're so bored, I guess we'll have to make a little change in plans. What is it? Come on, sis. Tell me, something fun? Fun is too small a word for it, and I'm the only one who knows how to do it. Oh my god! Wow, that was a, that was a girthy cutscene right there. So things, things are still going a little strange on that plane. We've got a bit of a subplot. Like I said, I'm making some observations, some, some names, trying to keep things in my pocket, but... I'm really liking this. I, I do like the gameplay, and I think, again, it, it does. I think Trial and Error is the name of the game here. So I'm not too frustrated with the fact that I keep failing a stage before I end up beating it with a D rank. I feel like that's just, I feel like that's sort of just par for the course. But man, the stories, it's got me. It's got me hooked in. I'm, I'm interested. So let's just remember to save our game. Don't forget, we are no longer in the armory. Let's 
save completed.